Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to speed ramp your video footage. A speed ramp is when you speed up your footage, then slow it down in a really controlled, stylish way. Like this. For the best results, you should record your footage at a higher frame rate. 60 frames per second, 120, 200 frames per second are all fantastic for pulling off this effect. So let's get to work. First, open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Then select New Project. Let's name this project Speed Ramp Tutorial. Check the location to make sure that the project is being saved to the correct directory. In my case, I'll be saving it directly to my desktop. You can leave all of the other project settings as is. Now we need to import the video clip that we want to use. So go to the Projects window and double click the empty area to bring up the File Import Explorer. Locate your footage and click Open. Let's see what kind of footage we're working with. Click the Info tab. As you can see, this clip was recorded at 120 frames per second and is 1080p resolution. Take a mental note of the resolution. You might have 720p or maybe something else depending on your camera's recording settings. Let's set up our new timeline. Go to File, New Sequence. Expand the Digital SLR category. Remember when I told you to keep a mental note of the video clip's resolution? This is why. Because we want to select the right size timeline for our video clip's resolution. Choose whichever category matches your footage. So in my case, it was 1080p. Choose DSLR 1080p, 24 frames. Because 24 frames per second is generally what's used for cinematic video viewing. Name this sequence. Let's call it Speed Ramp Fun Time. And there's your new timeline. Now, click and drag your footage from the project window and onto the timeline that we just created. You'll get a clip mismatch warning. Choose Keep Existing Settings. Let's fit our timeline to our viewing area with the backslash key. It'll make it easier to work with our clips. While we're at it, let's increase the height of our primary video track with Control and Plus. Let's take a look at the footage. This boxer is super fast. We're going to choose to slow down a few of his fast punches, then ramp the speed back up to add a nice cool slow motion speed ramp up effect. Let me do a quick color grade so you can see the action better. And that's done. Don't worry about this step. I did it just to make it easier for you to see. So let's get ramping. Right click the tiny FX box on your clip. Select Time Remapping, then Speed. This enables the time remapping effect, which is what we use to add the speed ramp. Let's find a part of our footage where we want to slow down the action. Let's slow it down at the 17-17 second mark, where he throws a left-handed uppercut. Place your mouse cursor at the playhead location. Hold the control key, or command key if you're on a Mac, and left click. This creates a keyframe, which acts as a marker telling Adobe Premiere where the footage will begin to slow down. If you can see these blue wings, it means that you've created a keyframe. Next step is to tell Premiere where the slow motion will end. So, let's move to the 1811 mark, where Ehab is throwing his right-handed uppercut. Place your cursor at that point. Control or Command and left click. And there's a second keyframe. Now here's where the speed ramping fun starts. Click and hold the white horizontal line between the two keyframes that we created and drag your mouse downward. You'll notice a percentage number appears, and it changes as you drag down that white line. That is your playback speed. A lower percentage means slower motion. Try not to bring the number too low, because if you do, the footage will get choppy. You can only slow down your footage so much. Let's take a look at our speed ramp footage. I think it looks good, but let's fine tune the slow motion a bit. Remember those blue wings that appeared on our keyframes? You can use them to add a more gradual change in the speed ramp. Because right now, our footage goes from 100% playback speed, then suddenly drops to 30%. Let's make the change less sudden. Zoom in using the plus symbol on your keyboard. Click the right half of the keyframe and pull it to the right. Notice a slope line that appears. This means that the slow motion is gradually being applied. Those bezier handles in the middle of the slope, they're used to further refine or curve the keyframe, but you probably won't have to use it at this point. Zoom back out with your backslash and take a look. 
That speed ramp footage looks great. Our last step though, is to change the time interpolation. Right click the clip in your timeline, select time interpolation, select optical flow. This will smooth out your footage and make the slow motion footage look even nicer when it's exported. Be warned that this will increase your render time and it will use more system resources. And that's it. You now know how to change up your footage's speed. This is great for sports footage and other high speed events. A big thank you to YouTube user Jennifer May Photography for suggesting this tutorial, and to the team over at Cardoso Boxing for letting me use their gym for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and keep making amazing videos. And now for your viewing pleasure, the completed boxing gym video. Take a look. This poem is about the next champ of the world, there isn't a doubt. This I predict, and I know the score. I'll be champ of the world in 64. That I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one to stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever.